Well, I haven't made one of these in a while. A couple months to be exact. A little over nearly three months since I've had to sit here and rant about anything to do with uh, my Tennessee Titans. But today there is some stuff going on. Free agency has begun. And uh, the Titans, uh, you know, just kind of, just kind of farting around and, you know, <laughs> watching all of these potential offensive linemen that could have uh, helped them out go to other teams. Now, we'll say that for a lot of money, I mean, these guys are going to other teams for a lot of money, but never fear, guys, never fear, Andre Dillard on the way he is on the way to Nashville to fill the gap Andre Dillard who's been in the league for three years he started nine games he's been sitting on the bench for Philadelphia behind some good guys I'll give him that he's sitting behind some good guys but uh now he's coming to Nashville and he's gonna have to start I mean he's gonna have to start probably left tackle left guard maybe speaking of the guard position Nate Davis gone um apparently we didn't find Nate Davis worth paying to keep on the roster. He's dealt with a lot of injuries. I get it, but we have nobody uh, on this offensive line. Taylor Lewan gone. Ben Jones, gone. Uh, <laughs> Dennis Daly, I can't even talk about it without breaking down crying. Uh, and then just now, moments ago, David Long is now headed to the Miami Dolphins. One of the best defensive players on the team. In my opinion, one of the best linebackers in the league when he's healthy. And maybe that's the key, when healthy. But still, um, pretty reasonable price that he went to Miami for that I can't believe the Titans weren't willing to match. Uh, add, linebacker, uh, add the linebacker position to the a uh, group of positions that are in drastic need of major improvements, right along with offensive line, wide receiver. We could use another tight end. We could use some more, you know, uh, defensive line. You're losing Dupree. You're losing uh, somebody else on that defensive line that we're losing. Uh, surely you're re-signing Jeffrey Simmons with all of this that you just kind of let slide. The problem is, I mean... Are we tanking? Are we going for the rebuild? I know Rand Carthon in his introductory press conference said we're not trying to rebuild, but first of all, I don't know what you're supposed to say at the introductory press conference other than we're not trying to rebuild right now. But, like, I don't know, man. It sure feels like we're starting from the ground up. Um, I don't know. I mean, Derrick Henry's still there. Jeff Simmons is still there. Kevin Byard's still there. Ryan Tannehill's still there. And I'm telling you guys more and more, it, I'm telling you, Tannehill's going to be the guy. I mean, I'm telling you, Tannehill's going to be the guy. I guarantee it. I'm sitting here looking at this, and I'm saying, okay, so the most likely place that would have wanted Tannehill is the Jets, and it looks like Aaron Rodgers is going there. Carolina has traded up to number one, so there's your... Bryce Young, C.J. Stroud, both going to be gone. And they could trade up to three to get Anthony Richardson, but I'm sorry, I just don't, I don't like that. I don't, I don't, I don't know why everybody's going so crazy about Anthony Richardson. I don't see it. Um, I, I don't, so other than that, I mean, any free agent you could have thought of, Jimmy G, if you wanted him, what's wrong with you? He's with the Raiders now. If you wanted Derek Carr, what's wrong with you? He's with the Saints now. Um... I mean, Tannehill could might find a home with somebody like the Commanders. Um, maybe the Falcons if they don't want to go with Ritter. But, uh, you know, it's it's not... I mean, it's early. There's still trades that could be made. There are still free agency signings. Still a draft. Next month it's going to happen. There's a long way to go, and I don't want to overreact, but man... Um, hard to believe we're going in to be very competitive next year when, you know, you, you let a guy like David Long go. I mean, I don't know. I guess if, if they if they cut a big deal for Jeff Simmons, that might send the message that, hey, we are trying to win now. We are trying to put pieces in place. But, man, 
Losing David Long sucks. Losing Nate Davis sucks. Um, Andre Dillard. I mean, I'm, I'm going to root for the guy, but like, I'm sorry. I'm not going to jump up and down and celebrate over a guy who started nine games in three years. I'm sorry. I'm rooting for the guy. He's going to have to start, but I'm sorry. I'm not just going to go crazy over that. So there you go. We'll see what awaits us as we go forward. Tighten up. Bye, everybody.